I just represent ourselves in this thing. So this is a, a reflection of our whole organization. So let's just go out there and look good, man. Go, 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 go. Gave us an opportunity to see, you know, over 100 players, you no know, hands-on coaching. It was a good week for us. news happening related to the Patriots. Adam Schefter reports the Falcons and Patriots will be the two coaching staffs for this year's East West Shrine Bowl. Bill called me on the phone and he said like, hey, uh, what do you think about being a head coach? And I, I was like, oh shoot, yeah, that'd be great. This one is returnable coming right to Troy Brown at the 45. Few players or people represent the organization finer than Patriots Hall of Famer Troy Brown. Troy's meant a lot. He's uh, he's been a tremendous player. Nobody works harder to do his job than Troy, and it's always for the good of the team. Then I got nervous all of a sudden. So after I said yes, Ed, Ed, we got that. We got an hour and a half for positional meetings. I got the instructions from Bill on how this thing was going to work. This is all on you. You're the head coach. Whatever you decide to do with these guys, then you ask them to do. They need to do it and get it done. And you deal with all the other stuff that's, that goes on with the East-West Shrine game. Last question would be, so are installs? I found out that I was going to be calling the plays and coaching the D-lines. We're, they're not having an iPad, so like, that's not like that. I would rather do this than sit at my desk any day. So like, this is great. Uh, and I would say on that, the one to three meeting with Bill, I would say, like, if, if we haven't looked at a guy yet on tape, I would like suggest that we go ahead and look at him. I think in that meeting, he's probably going to just talk briefly about each one of the guys on our roster. So be able to say something about him when he asked. Yeah, when we found out about this, it was almost like kind of popped back into season mode for a bit. We just got to get caught up on that part of it and be ready to go. When Coach Belichick told me about this opportunity being an offensive coordinator, quarterback's coach, I just jumped at it. Each team has, a, like, a team manager that you can go to for whatever you need. So we're gonna make sure we get that his name and number that everybody's gonna come to. So. The East West Shrine Bowl has been in existence since 1925. It's a college all-star game that attracts draft-eligible seniors. College prospects who have played in the game include the great Lawrence Taylor and this guy. Brady to the end zone, touchdown! Last year in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Patriots selected four players who appeared in the Shrine Bowl. Sixth round pick Sam Roberts, fourth round pick Pierre Strong, fourth round pick Jack Jones, and second round pick Tyquan Thornton. Jones, he's throwing it toward Thornton. Left yes. corner of the end zone. Caught. Touchdown New England. So Tyquan was an example of a player we evaluated all fall. Um, we identified him as a prospect that we wanted to sit down with and have a conversation with via interview. Um, we interviewed him during this East West Shrine week, and he had a great week. He really had a, a competitive time in one on ones and, and team periods and made a lot of plays. East West Shrine Bowl uh, is for college all-stars around the country to practice and play in front of NFL scouts all week long. We have two NFL staffs coaching the East West Shrine Bowl. When I got that call, the Patriots were going to be one of the teams that said yes and jumped at the opportunity. I was certainly excited. So it'd be a quick meeting for me with you guys at a team meeting tomorrow morning. So with those guys, so we can get started on, on the install, which is going to be really, really important for us. But for us on offense, I know it's a little simpler for you guys on defense, but we need all the time we can get. Making sure all, all the T's were crossed and all the I's were dotted. So that's the thing, it is, is, is the details, the small details, little details. As much as we can, let's encourage them to be professional and, and, they, and tell them that this is the start of their NFL career right here. So, you know, and everything they do from this point on is a reflection of, of them and they're being evaluated on everything they do. Mm -hmm. I think just being able to, de to deliver the message about the team, you know, give them their identity, like the smart, tough, dependable, and fundamentally sound team, just keep pounding that into these guys' heads. Just have patience with each other. So, like, look professional, act professional, 
I want to I want to have a a good looking practice out there, fellas. Not just for my sake, for yours too, and the Patriots. Not just representing ourselves in this thing. So this is a, a reflection of our home organization. So let's just go out there and look good, man, and uh, practice our ass off. It's a nice setup. It's an old thing. It's like it's like the old Astro Turk. Outside backers, inside backers, DBs will be down here, and then the offense will be here. It'll be a good warm up. That'd be nice and warm. That's for sure. Put that foot in the ground to come out of the break, fellas. Come on. You know, seeing guys, you know, bang into each other and, and you know, really be able to try and measure somebody's strength and somebody's, you know, violence on contact. You know, we're trying to practice the right way out there. It's okay. a blessing. I would have never known waking up that morning that I would have been able to get some wisdom from him. And uh, he was giving me a tipping pointer on punt return to peak the returner. And he was saying that that would give me a better angle to get a better block. So, very wise man. It was awesome. Um, it was really, really cool to be coached by those guys. Obviously, growing up in Massachusetts as a Pats fan, uh, being coached by uh, Coach Belichick, Coach O'Brien, uh, and the rest of the staff, that was really cool. They're coming in, they want a job. Right? They're trying to take somebody else's job, right? Those guys don't want to give those jobs up. Hey, on that one, just make sure you get a little bit more depth, okay? Because there's a... Trying to just, you know, give them as many hints, right? Techniques or, you know, just preparation that they need moving forward. You're not really comfortable with anything until you do it, right? You take this first uh, running back one-on-one. All right, let's get it. I think usually once I get out on the field, you know, and start working with the guys, then I am in a comfort zone. Step downhill, strike this thing, and then bring it up, okay? Don't just go in with your hands, all right? Come down and be physical, just like we're gonna do first play nine on seven. Oh, no, we're coming off the ball today? We're coming off the ball today? Yes, sir! People say energy is contagious, so I just want, hey, maybe a kid might be a little tired today, maybe a kid might be sore, ankle hurts, whatever, hamstring, but me, them just being around me, me being all jacked up and excited all the time, maybe they'll be like, all right, cool, let me match coach's energy. Go, 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 hey, push your depth though, push your depth, you don't want to run there at three yards. We're here to compete, we're here to win, we're not here to enjoy Vegas, we're not here to go on the strip, we're like, we're not here to do all the extracurriculars, like we're here to get better as football players, we're here to develop and we're here to win. We don't lose, we win, all right? Come on, y'all not playing physical enough right now. It's a really good opportunity for us to get a different lens of the player. I think, you know, for our coaches to be able to spend an entire week with these guys, both off script, eating meals with them, but also like getting them in the meeting room and sitting down with them and just getting a feel for how they learn, what makes them tick, the competitive nature that they have, their practice habits. Um, we get, you know, a, a unique familiarity with these guys in an early stage in the process, and I think it's really exciting. 1,800 miles southeast of Vegas, in Mobile, Alabama, the college all-star season continues with the Senior Bowl, which has been being played for over 70 years. Two college all-star games going on essentially at the same time. This is kind of the first wave of the pre-draft process for us in a lot of ways. In the past, the East-West Shrine was the week before the Senior Bowl. We're making the best of it, and we identified our scouts that we want to be here for the East-West, and then um, for us, we'll also um, have full coverage on the Senior Bowl, too. So we make it work and we figure it out. This year at the Senior Bowl, the coaching staff was made up of individual coaches rather than entire staffs. Included was Patriots defensive line coach Demarcus Covington. You know, it's not about uh, scheme or anything. It's about really those guys going out to, you know, execute fundamentals, technique, play with a high level. And then us as a staff, you know, it's been a unique opportunity to work with other men from other staffs, you know, hear their perspective on different things, learn from them, and, you know, iron shop and iron, and we're able to, you know, grow from one another. It, it was a blessing, like one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. The last few senior bowls have produced three players who have made significant contributions to the Patriots. 2022 first round pick Cole Strange, he played in the senior bowl as did 2020 second round pick Kyle Duggar, as well as 2020 second round pick Josh Uche. 
snap back to McCoy. He's under pressure, and Colt McCoy is going to be spun around by DJ again. My Michigan, you know, I wasn't able to showcase everything I could do per se, but at the Senior Bowl, they just, you know, let me do do my thing. It just was a platform that I really needed, and um, you know, I'm forever grateful to the Senior Bowl for you know giving me that opportunity to compete and show my showcase my skills. On these cats tonight, all right? Yes, sir. All right? Yes, sir. West side, let's go. Yeah. Uh, we gotta get in and out of the huddle, okay? We're gonna try to get the calls in faster too, but we gotta get in and out of the huddle, fellas. All right? Come on. I I've learned that about myself that I can, I can actually get up and do some of this stuff and be comfortable with it. And this quarterback, not afraid to throw it in there. So far. Seeing some of these guys in person, being able to work with them has been, you know, a pleasure because you don't get that opportunity. I can't go to a hundred different pro days, so being able to get all these kids in one central location, really get a good feel for who they are as men and who they are as football players. Gave us an opportunity to see, you know, over 50 players, you know, hands-on coaching, so meetings and practice drills and corrections, do it the next day, things like that. And then see another 50 plus players on the other team, on the East team, and watch them in similar scenarios. You know, there'll be a handful of players that are drafted from the East-West game, probably more not drafted than drafted. Uh, again, it's good to get some exposure and, and understand on some of those uh, players that are not the high draft choices. This is a different type of player that would, you know, fit as a, you know, as a role player and, uh, or as a, you know, lower draft choice player that might have, um, you know, more upside. Uh, it was a good week for us. Oh, the O-lineman oh, got him. Oh, yeah. He didn't know it was coming. <laughs>